السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وبه نستعين على كل حال والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear brothers and sisters, praise be to Allah عز وجل uh, The creator of the universe and uh, may peace and blessings go straight forward to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I've just come here to give you a little reminder because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ ذِكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And today I wanted us to look at a verse in the Holy Quran, Surah Tawbah, uh, chapter, that is chapter 9, verse 71. Allah says, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضُ يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ That uh, the male and female believers are guardians of each other. They enjoy themselves in doing good. وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And they forbid evil. Why did I bring, with, or bring this verse today? It is because uh, a lot of things are, are happening and we all know every now and then we see a lot of issues happening. But most especially when these things happen or are done by a Muslim, it is something that is supposed to be taken care of. We have to look into certain things and we try to advise our souls accordingly to see that we don't propagate evil. Pro uh, propagating evil, it's one of the most dangerous things that we are not supposed to do. We are not supposed to do because we are guardians of each other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is saying this. But now you find that a lot of things, whenever something happens or a Muslim commits an atrocity, instead of concealing it and finding a way to end it, to stop it, we the Muslims, we are the ones who are circulating videos which are provocative and uh, uh, and prone of, uh, actually they can bring about animosity and hatred among the communities. Because remember, some of you, the people who are following you, it's not that you are being followed by only Muslims, that may, maybe you are trying to, to let the fellow Muslims know that, no, what so and so has done is bad, we need to end it. And by the way, that is not one of the ways that we are supposed to do this. But still, we are followed by many people. We have our brothers from different religions, but we tend to bring out things which end up, which end up insulting Islam as a religion. Instead of creating harmony, we are the ones uh, doing, you see, you see, such and such a sheikh has done like this and this, such and such a person has done like this and that, and yet we know very well that it is not good. Even if it's not a Muslim, any other person, evil is not supposed to be circulated. You are not supposed to propagate evil at any cost. Whenever you see something happening and you know very well that this is bad, please do not be part of the team that circulates such because you will be mas'ulun and dalik Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will you will be held uh, accountable for what you are doing therefore we need to sit down revise our souls and we know very well that whatever we are posting on social media remember that somebody is going to download that video and maybe spread it and spread and spread it and we know very well that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man sanna sunnatan hasana falahu ajruha wa ajru man amila biha ila yawm al qiyamah if at all you are circulating something that is good you'll get the rewards and whenever they spread it and spread it and spread it and share it with others, you'll be getting the rewards. But the opposite is, And if you do something, you initiate something bad, something evil, and you keep on spreading it, sharing it with uh, others, circulating it, just know that you'll be getting the rewards, you'll be getting the punishment, even if you die, and it keeps on being circulated, you are going to be receiving the, the evil for that, you're going to be receiving the punishments for that. But sometimes, because we love the likes and uh, the follows, we are doing this without thinking, but just know you shall you will be accountable for whatever you are doing and besides that our fellow muslim uh, my fellow muslim brothers i would like to remind you one thing uh where is you find that uh, whenever we are doing something let us think about the repercussion that it will have on the islamic religion whenever we are talking to our fellows in different religions let us see the way how we are approaching them, the way how we are addressing them, is it going to have an impact on Islam or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, And do not insult those who do not worship Allah Azza wa Jalla, who worships something else, and in the end or in turn, 
they will insult Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without having knowledge. They will just come up and, for example, you've seen a lot of things. Some people ended up uh, insulting our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam just because they're saying that a, a specific sheikh did so and so. And instead of, uh, of addressing the person, they are addressing Islam as a religion. So this is something that we should try our level best to desist from, to make sure that we are not doing this because we shall end up committing atrocities. We shall be committing atrocities, which in the end will put the Muslims and the non-Muslims at loggerheads. And we know very well that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is insulted, none of us will be at peace. We shall be aggrieved. Therefore, we need to think about this. Think about whatever you spread. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.